Okay, so let me just tell you. That is super pretty. How beautiful that is. Yeah, I don't know about this. I'm not really getting any better of a result. I think that's pretty much um, it. No, I do have some more new stuff. I forgot I do. Yay. <laughs> Okay, so let me just tell you <laughs> how many times I tried filming this video uh, before it's happening now. I meant to film this, get this all done before Ellie Glines uh, launch. I didn't want to see the launch before I filmed this, uh, but I just, it was in the back of my head and I kept messing up and because I just wanted to watch it, you know, I think I was trying to rush through my video to try to go watch um, her launch video and you guys, I am just like, I was just bawling because I am just so proud of her and she's so inspiring and I just can't stop crying <laughs> because, um, yeah, I mean, she is what... Every uh, beauty influencer wants to be, and she makes it happen. Her and her husband, they are like the perfect dream team, and I just see huge things happening for her, and I cannot be more excited for her, and it's just, like I said, incredibly inspiring. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have seen it. If you haven't seen that video and what she's launching um, is actually completely different than what I thought she was going to launch. Um, I actually was, you know, thrown off by it, what it is. I'm not going to say anything if you haven't seen the video um, because I, not really, you know, I could see that why she did. But yeah, I just had something different that I thought she was going to launch. But you guys, it's just the most beautiful and, like I said, inspiring video. And I will link that uh, down in the description box. So hopefully I can get this video and put on my makeup. So anyway, um, what I was trying to say when before I started um, filming this one, the 100 times before filming, now I feel much more relaxed because I know what it is uh, <laughs> that I was waiting on. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, I'm glad to be back. Um, I keep disappearing. Uh, but as you guys know, I went down to see my son for his 31st birthday in Arizona. Uh, it was a very short visit, but it was a wonderful visit. Um, I'll take any short visit any day. Uh, and I got to see my uh, best friend, Amanda, his wife. Uh, we had a wonderful time. We always do. They are so much fun. Uh, I just love being around them. So that's where I was. Um, I'm also, uh, like I mentioned before, very shorthanded at work, but we did find somebody and she's working out amazing. Um, so hopefully I'll be back to my regularly uh, scheduled uh, filming process. So uh, oh, you guys, you know, I'm just a hot mess right now. Anyway, uh, but yeah, I, there's just a few things I want to go through here. I got a new palette. Uh, I actually got this palette right before I went to Arizona. It was like perfect timing. Um, there's a few new things I want to try out. So that's what we're going to be doing today, uh, catching up. And uh, the palette that I received is actually um, through a brand. And they have just been sending me tons of their palettes and I'm going to be honest, um, I, I swear this is my favorite one by them. And it was so weird, you know, when I received it because I was heading down to Arizona. I think it came the day before I went to Arizona. And, you know, it is um, desert inspired. And that's where I was heading, <laughs> the, the, uh, the desert. So I have tried um, this palette. I've already used it. I've done a couple eye looks. Um, if you follow me over on Instagram, you may have seen a couple of them. And like I said, it's my favorite favorite formula by them. It's absolutely beautiful. And I hate the word obsessed, not hate, but you know, <laughs> the word obsessed is just kind of thrown out there a lot. But when I am obsessed with something, I will let you know. And I am obsessed with this palette. It's absolutely a beautiful. Um, and it's the one by Alter Ego and it's the Mirage palette. And I have seen um, a couple influencers, um, you know, do reviews on it and they love it as well. And it's absolutely a stunning. So I will show you, I did some clips, you know, some swatches. Uh, I'll be putting that on the screen here. And the formula is just different. Like I said from before, they're more buttery. Even the mattes, they're just super blendable. I just can't explain it. The shimmers, they're not, you know, glitter flying everywhere. They're super creamy. 
They're absolutely beautiful. It's just all the colors that I, I love. There's two uh, cream formulas in here, so you can use it like as a base or as a liner, which I've been using more um, as a liner. So what I'm going to be using right now um, is just Alter Ego's uh, primer, and I actually really like this primer. Now, it doesn't conceal like a lot of the uh, discoloration and stuff like my other one does, but it's a great formula because it's uh, tacky, but not too tacky and I don't get any creasing but it does conceal it slightly as you can see my discoloration oh I really hope I can get through this video my nose is running from all the crying I mean I literally was a bawling I really was because I've been following Allie Glines for a very long time even when she was with um singing with her sisters and she's done a lot for me if you guys have been following me for a while you know my uh, love for Allie she's done I, and I don't know what I ever deserved um you know for that you know but she put out a few um what do you call those uh, shout outs you know for me and it really changed my channel a lot so I just I don't know there's just some you know major connection I feel with her and yeah I just I truly truly adore her I don't even know what I'm doing right now I'm just trying to find a brush here so we can start this eye look so like I said I have done a couple eye looks and I've stayed pretty neutral uh, with it so I'm almost wanting to go like in a different uh, direction and I don't believe I've tried uh, this shade right here yet. So I'm thinking I want to incorporate that one and that one is just called a stone. So I do want to, let's just start there and see what happens. Usually I have like a pretty um, neutral transition shade, but let's, let's start here you guys. Uh, I don't know what I how this is going to turn out. So lately what I've been doing, because I have hooded eyes, is I'm just going to use like a very small um, fluffy brush and I use the Angie Hot and Flashy and I'm just going to basically draw an outline of where, how high I want this to go because I find that if I do that, you know, you're able to see the shade a heck of a lot better than me trying to start way down here and work my way up. Okay, so now I'm gonna actually switch to a pretty fluffy brush and I'm gonna angle it more upward here. So I'm just gonna kind of push that shade up towards my eyebrow and just really smooth out these edges. Um, even though I laid quite a bit of shade, it's just kind of, I don't know, just smoking out really beautifully. Now once I've done that, I'm just taking like little circular motions and I'm just going around the edges just to really diffuse that. And I think I actually want to take uh, this shade here, it's called Concour, but it's more like a satin finish, but it's, you know, more in that more purple tone that I want to stay in. And I think I'm going to place that on this outer corner here just to kind of deepen that up. So I'm just going to place it right here and just kind of sweep that into more of the center part of my eye. And again, this is more just to really deepen up this outer edge and maybe just work it a little bit in that crease. Yeah, what I love about these, uh, this palette too, is I find there's not tons of fallout. You know, um, usually with these super dark shades, you know, just be all over the cheek here. There is just very slight fallout, but it's very minimal. Okay, so now I'm gonna take another brush here and I am just going to lighten this area up just slightly. So what I think I'm gonna do is go into the shade Clay. So this is more like a yellow, I would say yellow orange, but I'm just going to lightly Go right above that dark stone shade and just add a little bit of color and just go around the whole edge of everything just to really diffuse, again, all these edges. And then I'm going to go into a really a fluffy brush here. And this, again, is from the Hot and Flashy uh, BK. And make sure that that brush is super clean. And I'm just going to really just blend things in. Okay, so I'm going to go into that Odyssey, which is more like a marble effect, but it's more like a, see how different of a formula that is? I'm just going to lay that right here on the outer edge, more towards the center. 
And just like that, ooh, that is super pretty. Oh my gosh, I did not think it was going to go that well with this uh, look. And now I'm going to go into Cleopractor, which is a super buttery. So you got to be very careful with that shape. Whoa. <laughs> I did not expect that kind of payoff. But so what I'm going to do is actually sweep that into that other shade and just kind of blend the two. Ooh, look how beautiful that is. And I'm actually just going to pick up a little bit more of that Odyssey. Just kind of blend the two and just see what it comes up with. Ooh, that is super beautiful. I told you this palette is just, I don't know, like I said, my favorite out of Alter Egos. Okay, and like I mentioned, there's very little uh, fallout here. And I always find the best way to, you know, get rid of any fallout is through a spoolie. Even though it's a little rougher on the skin, um, I just feel like it does a better and quicker job when I use a spoolie. So what I'm going to do now is the other eye. I'll come back and I'll show you uh, something new that I've been dying to try out. But what I forgot to mention about this palette, it's supposed to be the dupe to the Huda uh, Empowered palette. And Jen Phelps actually did a side-by-side because -side, I don't have that palette. <laughs> um, and it was very similar. I personally, on her, liked uh, the Mirage the Mirage uh, side better. So if you want to uh, check out that video, I'll link that in the uh, description box. Okay, so what I want to try out is this here. I got it from uh, Miss AOA, and it's called the Perfect Wing Eyeliner sticker template so we're gonna give this a try so I don't know how this is gonna go and hopefully it's not gonna interfere with my eyeshadow because I really didn't think that through so this is what the stickers look like uh, there's several different uh, kinds there's this one here they have this type uh, here which I don't think I will try uh, today maybe another day but let's try these ones so what I think you do because um, I know a lot of people struggle including myself with a wing liner okay so this is kind of awkward I will say that and I don't know about that. I might not have this going on right. Maybe. Uh, let's see. I think, see, this I feel like is supposed to angle more down. Let me play with this for a minute and let me see what I can come up with. Yeah, I don't know about this. I'm not really getting any better of a result um, with that. So I'm just going to have to really uh, wing this. <laughs> And, you know, once I peeled this away, I did already notice that it did interfere um, with the eyeshadow. So let's just see what happens. But um, I think, you know, if you were doing a more natural look and you didn't have like dark, deep shadows, it might work. But let's just see what happens. Um, I'm going to go in with this um, cool shade or it's called a dusk. And I'm going to place that on an angled brush. And let's just see what happens. I don't know about this. So uh let's just you know focus more on the wing part and i'm not i guess you don't have to be pretty precise about that because you know you would think that this um template would really help so i'm just going to let that sit for a minute and dry let's peel this away just gently and see what happens okay so it did work but as you can see how it did take away a little bit of my eyeshadow. So I'm not too thrilled about that. But like I said, if you're just going for a natural look, it might be um, just fun to do. And the nice thing I think would come out of those templates is um, that they're gonna be pretty much even. So what I think I only really have to go back in with is that Really deep shade here on the outer corner. And let's just see. Yeah, no, it's not going to work, you guys. Only because uh, that is starting to kind of smear. And yeah, so what I'm going to do is just kind of fix up this eye. And we're going to do a free hand like I normally do with the other side. But I am going to, if I have time, I'll keep this in. I'm going to show you how I do fix this up. I just placed a little bit more of my primer on this outer edge here and that way it will uh, grip and I'm even going to place just a slightly bit more 
everywhere that it kind of wore off. And then I'm going to go back into all the shades that really just need to be on this outer corner and really just fix that up. Otherwise, if I didn't do that, it's not going to stick uh, as well. So hopefully I will be able to keep this in so you can see how to fix these mistakes really quick. And what I've been doing is just, as you can see, again, with that sharp edge, I'm just kind of freestyling it and I'm not going to go really crazy with my wings. I actually have a pair of lashes I want to try out. So, you know, you're not going to really see this wing anyway. But as you can see how nicely that uh, cream black works. I mean, that's a perfect little wing and it's very easy to use and I have used it before. And I will say once it dries down, it does not remove really, you know, easily. Okay, so the lashes that I picked up, and I believe I got these from, um, I want to say Timu. And they're little half lashes here, so um, I definitely want to give them a try. They look just really fun, and I believe you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pairs. So, uh, and they were super cheap. I don't even think they were $2, but I'll let you guys know uh, somewhere around here. Okay, so up close, you can really see that they're really uh, pretty. So the band doesn't look too thick, so, um, you know, on the container, but we will uh, take a look. So what I'm going to do now is just curl my lashes, and I'm going to apply a very light layer of this um, Maybelline Sky High. This used to be my favorite drugstore uh, mascara. I haven't used it in so long, but I did received this cute little uh, travel size. So I'm going to use it again and refresh my memory because I can't remember, um, you know, if I still uh, like it. So the wand, I do remember it being uh, super flimsy. As you can see, uh, that is its only a flaw. So let's see how it works on my lashes still today. Okay, so that is just with a few strokes. It's kind of hard to tell uh, with this dark eyeshadow, but um, it creates, you know, some uh, length and stuff. I don't know if it would be my favorite uh, mascara from the drugstore now, uh, but it was for a very long time. I do know if you give it a few layers, it does layer up really nice. So, um, yeah, as I'm going in with just a little bit more, it is thickening up a little bit. But again, I don't know if it'd be my favorite uh, at the moment. So let's go into these lashes. I'm just going to take one off. The glue that I'm going to use is from uh, Miss AOA. It's called their Super uh, Strip Lash Adhesive. And I have used this in the past, and it's a really good uh, glue. So what I just do is... Place a pretty even but thin layer just on the band. And now that I have that off the packaging, the band is a little thicker um, than, you know, usual. So just be aware of that. Sometimes, I don't know, sometimes I find it easier with the thicker band than not. So I'm just going to let this dry down a little bit. And I'm going to apply um, a mascara on this eye. And we'll come back and apply this little half lash. Okay, so let's go in with this cute little half lash and let's see the difference that that makes. Oh, it applies super easy though. I will say that. And is there a huge difference? No, it's just very subtle, but they're super uh, comfortable. And like I said, very easy to apply. So um, I definitely will be using these often because number one, it came with a seven pair and they're super, super easy to use. Now, it's so funny on my left side, I cannot use a tool. Um, I just, let me just get this to dry down. Um, for some reason, I cannot use a tool on my left eye. So I will say though, the easiest way to apply these is to look down in a mirror and then attach, you know, one end and then the other. So I kind of go in in the center of where I'm going and then I attach the ends. But 
That's how easy it is, I swear. Those were super easy. Half lashes always are anyway. So that's a very nice lash, you know, for a couple dollars. Okay, so I think that's pretty much um, it. No, I do have some more new stuff. I forgot I do. Yay. Because <laughs> I was scared. I'm like, oh, is that it? Um, so now I am going to go into uh, the complexion. And what I've been doing uh, lately is just taking off any skincare or excess oil that's just kind of been sitting because honestly, um, <laughs> my skincare has been on for quite some time because like I said, I was trying to film earlier could not get focused, was stumbling all over my words, and then I watched Allie Glein's a video, which was like a half hour, or so yeah. So anyway, this is all the oils that would have been on my skin had I not done that. Okay, so what I'm going to go in with uh, now is this, my Maybelline Master Blur Stick. I love this blur stick. Thinner layers is way better than, you know, using too much. So yeah, less is more with this product. Okay, so that looks really good. And I haven't been using primers lately only because my e.l.f. Um, SPF, you know, the one, uh, the Woe Glow, it, it just works so amazing with all my makeup. I just don't find it necessary. Maybe with the um, winter months coming up, I'll use a primer, but I just haven't been, you know, having to use one. So that's why I'm not going to use any primer, but I might actually just spray my face with this. I haven't used this in a long time. Uh, by ColourPop, it's their Pretty Fresh, and it's their Hyaluronic Acid uh, Setting Spray. So I do find sometimes this really does make a difference, too. Mmm. Oh, I love the scent of that. Okay, and then for foundation, uh, what I think I'm going to use today, because I haven't used it in so long, is the Wet n Wild, and it's their uh, Photo Focus Foundation. And I got mine in the dewy version, and I got mine in the shade, I believe it's uh, just beige. So I think I'm just going to apply a little bit using the paddle itself. So yeah, I had the best time in Arizona. I'm getting much better at flying, um, you know, in the planes. Uh, I am just, I don't know, I just really had a phobia of flying, but you know, I've been going down there so often that it is becoming much easier for me. So uh, it's just a long flight, you know, it's about four hours. And I don't know, I just get antsy on a plane anyway. Um, I'm not one that can sit still very long. So four hours is quite the flight. But anyway, um, for Kurt's birthday, or what we did, I'm just trying to think of all that we did. We flew in and we basically just spent the day, you know, just reacquainting, talking, laughing. And then um, Amanda made, uh, it was a taco dinner night and that was fabulous uh it was so good and then that night we just played cards and kurt actually had to work the next day on his birthday so what we did thursday is um we actually went up to his work amanda had purchased a cake and we took that up to him and um, we got to meet you know his co-workers and stuff and they were really appreciative of the cake that amanda brought in then after that um Amanda, Daryl, and I drove around areas where she and Kurt are looking into purchasing a home. Because right now they're renting because they weren't sure where they wanted to uh, live. And which was uh, super smart because it's a, in a completely different area where they're looking into now. And it's absolutely beautiful. They, oh, I am so looking forward to it. It's so different from where they're at. Where they're at, it's very deserty. It's very brown. Where they're looking into, there's a lot of trees, palm trees. It's just beautiful. Kurt made us like, um, what are they called? A uh, chocolate martinis or espresso martinis. And they were super good, but they made me go to sleep, you know, very quickly. So that night we went to bed early. Okay. And then for concealer, I brought down my oldie but goodie. And this is the cover girl. Um, and this is just like a, um, a stick a concealer and I got mine in the shade it looks like 710 light I loved this concealer we'll see if I still do but um yeah it just is super creamy it's perfect for my mature under eyes that are super dry so I'm just going to add a little bit in the corner and I am going to be pretty generous here in the um, inner corner only because I wear glasses so I get a lot of um, discoloration there 
and then I just kind of spread the love around. So right now it looks like I have a lot of concealer on, but I am pretty generous of how I do spread everything around. Okay, I can never find brushes that I'm looking for. Okay, <laughs> I found my brush. So I'm going to use my BK Hot and Flashy, and this is the concealer brush. So as you'll notice, I'm just staying pretty uh, focused in this inner corner, only because that's where most of my discoloration is. And, and then I'm just going to take this outer corner and sweep that up towards the temple just to really uh, open the eye and make it appear, you know, that it is uh, elongated. So that's what I'm doing there. And then whatever's left on the brush, I'm just going to place not even directly under my eye. I'm just kind of filling in where it seems like it's a little hollow. So that's what I'm doing there. And then I just take my finger and really melt that into the skin. Just looking at it from right now, it doesn't look like I will have to set this. It looks like it pretty much uh, sets on its own, which I love. If I, if I don't have to use powder, um, that is even better. Okay, so the day after Kurt's birthday, uh, which was on Saturday, uh, we had plans. Kurt has, I don't know how many um, of these gift cards because he does so well, you know, at <laughs> his job. I'm, I'm going to brag a little bit, but he does. But he gets a lot of these gift cards, and he had $700, over $700 in gift cards uh, to this really nice uh, restaurant um, because he just keeps winning all these things that they do. And so we went to this restaurant, and it's called Dominic's, and it is beautiful. It has like a pool in there, which I, you know, don't understand, but... Uh, we did ask somebody and they said because we were actually on the roof, but they had it closed, you know, but the uh, roof does open and I think it's just the ambiance, but the food was fabulous. It was so nice. Oh, I forgot to mention on his birthday, Amanda had a seafood boil, which was so yummy. Um, I think that's why we went to bed, you know, kind of early as so we, we ate all that yummy seafood, you know, had a few cocktails and we did play a little cards, but oh my gosh, it was so good. But Dominic's, um, this restaurant is just very upscale, uh, very nice. And the food was a fantastic. Okay, I'll get back to my story in just a second, but I do have um, a new bronzer and a couple new uh, blushes that I want to try out. I don't know if I'll use both blushes, but at least one. But the new bronzer, uh, this is through uh, Miss AOA as well. Uh, I told you, you know, in a previous video that they come out with something, I swear it's like color pop, you know, every second. But uh, this is what the bronzer looks like. So it's like a little pot bronzer and I've already tried it but I do like to keep this on there just so, so it doesn't dry out but that is the shade um and I really uh, like this and I actually got mine in the shade I think it's uh just palace is what it's called so I'm actually just going to use this cute little brush here it's a elf um it's actually their putty um brush so I'm just going to tap a little bit I think it's pretty pigmented from what I remember the other day so I'm just going to go in very light-handed and spread the love as you can see how pigmented it is so i literally just tapped it in there and i'm just going to apply it everywhere and then go in and blend it in more only because i don't want it to be too you know super dark but look at how far just that little i think i tapped it what was it three times and i'm still getting all the product off so now i'm just going to go in and really blend this in okay so we went to dominic's and then we went to uh she had heard of this pirate bar and it was called ghost ship and so we went down which was uh, downtown we took an uber and it was super super cool uh both my husband and son are just really into pirates they uh, just think it's so cool so it was like perfect for them this is when things got kind of bad, you guys. Oh my gosh, I swear, I have Crohn's. Uh, I, I know a few of you know that. I've mentioned it a few times. And, um, you know, I, I was due for my shot before I was supposed to leave. And um, I, not till after I, you know, after I got back is when I was actually supposed to take it. But it was getting close to when I had to take it again, my shot. And... Honestly, I think it was a combination between the seafood, the cocktails, uh, the rich food at the Dominic's. My st I thought I was going to be sick. I was just oh, not feeling well at all. I felt so bad. We literally got into that little pirate bar 
And I went to Daryl. I'm like, I don't feel good. So I went down to the restroom and I'm like, oh, please, you know, please don't let this be happening. And I finally, I just was like, I got to get out of here because it was like a, oh gosh, I want to say at least a 30 minute Uber, you know, drive. And I'm thinking to myself, oh my gosh, if I get sick in this guy's car or something, you know, I, I was just panicking at that point. And I think that was a lot of it too. I was working myself up, you know, giving myself like an anxiety attack over this. And so anyway, like I said, they basically had one drink and had to leave because of me. And I felt so bad that we also had plans, you know, uh, we were going to go to the casino that night and everything was just ruined because of my stupid crones, you know, and it just happens, you know, and I even had my anti-nausea pill that I took and it just wasn't working. Nothing was working. And then I started panicking like, oh gosh, you know, maybe I caught a flu or something on the plane. Uh, just many things went through my head. So anyway, the whole night was ruined because of mom. You know, I felt so bad. I even told the kids, I go, why don't you guys just stay down here? Uh, you know, we'll catch the Uber back to the place. You know, we have the key to their place and uh, they just said, absolutely not. You know, they were not going to leave me down there, you know, or leave us and, and stay down there. But I wish they would have. I honestly would have felt so much better had they just enjoyed the night. But we actually got back to their place um, within probably, I don't know, a half hour. Like I said, I think I was starting just to panic myself. Within, you know, within a half hour of us being back, I felt better uh, to where we could. We played uh, cards again and ended up having a great night. And yeah, you guys, it just sometimes my Crohn's just really gets to me and, and it, it's always at the worst time. So, uh, yeah, anyway, it is still was a great visit, you know, <laughs> and of course they made me feel great, you know, that it wasn't a problem. But yeah, anyway. OK, so I also got blushes um, like that bronzer through Miss AOA and these are the shades here. So I'm not sure. What, oh, I definitely know what shade. I'm going to use this one here, but this is the uh, the shades here. So let's uh, uh, swatch both of these. So uh, this one is the one I think I'm going to use, and that is in the shade uh, Duchess. So it's this one right here, and this one is in the shade, it looks like a cake, and this is like a more like red or, hmm, I don't know what shade this would be. Yeah, more like a red or um, nice orange shade that will be perfect with some uh, fall look. So, oh, I'm glad I got that. And I bet you you could use this on the lips as well. So this, uh, I think I'm actually going to use my BK uh, brush here. Uh, this I just find works really well with cream products. Again, I'm just going to go very uh, slow because these products are super pigmented, as you could tell in that uh, bronzer, but. Let me just talk about that bronzer really quick. I'm like, squirrel, squirrel. <laughs> I swear, that's what I get. I get so excited about something. Um, this shade is actually perfect. Do you guys see how perfect that shade is? It's not orange. Um, at first, when I saw it in the pot, I was like, ooh, it looked a little orange. But it blends down to a really pretty... Uh, bronzed look it's super creamy so it's not drying it's a really nice bronzer dollar 88 so these are really nice products from this aoa okay and then to set my face what i think i'm going to do is use my moira i haven't uh really used this one here i've used uh the brightening one a lot but i have not used uh this one and this is just called the set correct loose setting powder because I do want to set uh, this makeup for sure because it's all cream and I'm going to start right here it's very as you can tell very powdery but um, that just means that it's very night a uh, lightly milled and as you can see it's really not covering um, all the makeup that I've already applied I really get frustrated when that happens you know with a, a powder because then you, it's almost like you have to go back and reapply all your makeup, but I could really still see that um, blush and my bronzer, which is super nice and needed to be toned down a little bit anyway. So I'm really going to be generous through my T-zone, and actually I'm actually, actually going to take my sponge and just place a little bit on there and go through to the, uh, my nose only because... You get super oily through there, so I always apply just a little extra product 
on my nose. Okay, let's take a look at these under eyes. Okay, I have absolutely zero creasing whatsoever, so I'm definitely not going to set under my eyes. Um, I'm really liking how it looks right now, so I'm not going to fix what's not broken. Okay, let's go back into this palette, fin finish off this eye look, and I think I'm gonna go back into uh, the stone and just place a little bit on a pointy brush and just go on this outer corner here, and I'm not being super precise. I actually want it to be a little bit more messy. And I think I'm going to go into the shade Odyssey. Uh, that was that little uh, marble shade right here. And place that like in the center here. So now for lipstick is going to be the little tricky part. Um, I brought down a couple options here. But I think I am going to line my lips with this. It's by uh, Card Candy. This has become one of my favorite uh, lip liners. It is really nice because what I love about it, it has a brush on one end. See how easy that just glides on and what I love too is now I can just take this little brush and just kind of blend that into the lip and I have found I can even use like these lip liners as just my you know my whole lip look and then put like a lip balm or gloss over it okay so what I think I'm going to use for my lipstick hmm because again I don't want to overpower uh, this look so I got two options, and again, they are both by Hard Candy. Decide between uh, these two shades here, and this one is called Forever and Ever. So that is that shade here, and this one is called Meet Cute. So this one is just more of a sheer formula. So hmm, let's try Forever Ever, so it's a little bit more of a deep shade but it's very creamy mmm not sticky whatsoever it's more like a balm I think that kind of works uh, with this look Okay, so this is today's final look. I absolutely love how it turned out. I am not shocked by any means uh, by using this palette here. It is absolutely stunning. Again, if you want to check out the comparison between this one and the Huda, I will put a Jen Phelps video in the des uh, description box. And also really quick, I did um, set my face using my old Holy Grail, the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. I haven't used it in a very long time, so I do want to see how my makeup holds up uh, using this. And um, also, Oh, I did add this here that uh, the blush by AOA that cream blush on my lips I just wanted to see uh, if you can and you definitely can use uh, this on your lips too because it's super super creamy and I think it just really added that perfect um, element you know to this look so um, yes you can use this on your lips and on your cheeks all right I hope you enjoyed today's video if you did if you would please hit that like button it truly does help me out and my channel could use all the help and also make sure to go over to Allie Glein's video and congratulate her because it is just amazing all right I can't wait to see you guys again I love you so much and until next time